Thanks for joining us again on Alice Air Guns. Today, we're going to make a sawed off shotgun, and we're not going to file our paperwork either. So, let's go ahead and proceed. What do you think? I'm going to take about that much off right now. Of course, this is our Gamo Viper Express, which comes with an 18 inch barrel. And we're going to take about four inches off right here. And we're going to do that in the interest of more velocity. And I know that's contraindicated if you work with firearms, but in the case of air guns, this makes sense. So let's go ahead. ahead and clean up this crown mm -hmm. and dress it a bit and then we'll look numbers again to see what we've done to the velocity I believe we will have improved it okay, and here is our Viper Express after we shortened the barrel and we'll go ahead and run chronograph numbers but if you want to go ahead and take a look at that we've got the piece of barrel that um, we took off of it here and I do need to move that bead sight, which we'll do once we settle on the final barrel length. Um, as you can see, we need to um, go ahead and dress up the end of it. But overall, it looks like we got a pretty good cut for having just done it with the hacksaw. So I am pleased. Welp. We are out to shoot it after our most recent modification. So here it is, our short-barreled Gamo Viper Express. And my main interest is going ahead and running this thing through a chronograph so we can see just what we're, we're seeing as far as velocity. Of course, I'm expecting a major increase in velocity, but, um, We'll go ahead and check that right now. We are going to shoot both the Barracudas that we shot originally and um, also Meister Kugelm, Kugelm and um, some of the shot shells as well. Now, I did take some off of this barrel, as you can see. I have not crowned it. I put a couple of pellets through and it didn't appear to be I also looked at it with magnification um, it appears to be a pretty clean cut and I may end up cutting it shorter so I haven't gone ahead and crowned it I'm mainly interested in velocity at this point so let's go ahead and take a couple of shots over the chronograph with the Barracuda um, we have the data from the last time we did this so um, we'll go ahead here got the I've got the chronograph kind of high. Let me drop that thing down off camera here. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get some crony readings. Now these are the Barracuda 22 caliber and these are 21.14 grain. Um, we do have our pellet insert in place. I'm very curious. But we'll see. Oh, these barracudas do fit tightly. Mm. All right. First shot. Four seven eight point four, and I have no idea how that compares without looking. That seems low. Again. 481.1, but on the terminal end appears to have some thump. Four eight six point oh. 
Had a little bit of a smoke smell. They're probably getting a little dieseling. Four eight one point six. I believe this will be our fifth shot here. Seven point seven for shot number five. All right, let's turn that off and let's get another pellet here. So I've removed the pellet after, and I am firing factory shot loads. So let's go ahead and measure them. Shot one. 524.6. Not good. Mm -hmm. Shot two. 550.1. Oops. I don't have many of these, so this is going to be a shot three. 600. So, of course, that makes me want to spend one more. Because that is a variance. Okay, shot number four. The one for the money. Five eighty seven point nine. So five eighty eight. Okay. Um, I want to pattern a couple of those now. Okay. Now we're gonna look at the patterning since we've shortened that barrel. Frankly, I had expected better results than I'm seeing. So let's see what that pattern's doing. Perhaps that'll give us some insight to what's going on. Gonna shoot for that blank piece of cardboard to the right of the green cutting board that's taped on there. Alright. And I'm at about three yards. What did we get? Oh, that's a nice group. Nothing wrong with it. Concentrated there to there. I got a few out here. So I may have imperfections in the muzzle, or that may have been from before. I think my row group, but let's count them. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, I think that's most of them. All right, so let's check penetration. See if they'll make it through that plastic cutting board. Because again, I'm curious. Yeah, I like more. I like 12 feet now, four yards. Don't want any of them hitting me when they bounce back. So let's go ahead and try again. Nice report. Opening up a bit by there. And by golly, we punched right through that. Man, I'm impressed. Right through it. Well, what do you know? All right, so let's see where we're hitting. I'm going to do my best to um, hit the little target dot there. Looks like I've got one round left of the shot shells. Back to... 12 feet, 4 yards. Let's see if I can nail it. I have no idea where I'm hitting. I just covered the dot with the end of the muzzle. And we hit high. Got more spread. This is us right here. Might be hitting a little left. Could be because of my crown. Boom. Okay. So 
So we're 588 with that last shot shawl. Let's see what we'll do with the 15 grain pellet. And then we'll launch one at that target. Ah, I got an error. I'll tire again. Might be shooting a little left. Six nineteen point nine, more like it. I can't. I thought we were back six twenty four or something before. Maybe the chamber adapter settling in. And then again, six twenty four. Yeah, so that's pretty consistent. We're hitting about where we thought we would. Let us try. Hit that little red dot. Now we're back more like 20 feet. We'll launch two. Try and get an idea where they're hit. A two shot group. Now, for what it's worth, I don't have a sight on this right now. No bead, no optic. And it appears I'm hitting way high. These two would be me. And obviously I was aiming here. So I'm way high going that way. Um, all right, well, I think we've got what we want there. We'll go crunch some numbers, put our friend Tony away, and um, yeah, we'll see how we're doing. A Little bit surprised, I expected more.